So, spawning in the top right, for past gaming, we have the Green Zerg Demolisher. And in the bottom left, for Dark Society, we have the Red Protoss Blue Waffle. ZVP. This is my least favorite matchup. <laughs> As many of you probably know. So we got a probe moving out already. That's very early. Sometimes people will just put down a gateway and uh, then move out and scout. But we might see a forge here. It's certainly possible. Nope, we're gonna see a gateway, okay. So he's just doing an early scout. Probably wants to check to make sure he's not getting 12 pooled. We do see an early pool and a geyser going down. So that's usually indicative of a early timing. But I'm not sure how much damage it'll really be able to do, because he's going double gateway, so if he gets Adepts out, then Lings will get shut down pretty easily. So we'll see if Demolisher pulls out a gas, or if he mines more than 100. Uh, we got a pylon block as well, so good thing he went pull first. Pylon and an assimilator, so that's going to delay his Nexus. Definitely. You can see that he would have already had the money to put down a Nexus, but not quite yet. Yeah, he could have put down a Nexus and got a Cyber Core and had the money for that. And he lets all of them finish too, but uh, I imagine Demolisher's just going to go down here to this base. No, he's going to attack the Assimilator, that's interesting. <laughs> Blue wa <laughs> Spoon. Blue Waffle, yeah. That's gross. <laughs> so still no cyber core, um, no gas too. So even if he did have the cyber core, he wouldn't be able to research um, warp gate. So a bit of a build order delay here. Drone chipping away at the assimilator, taking it down. Don't worry, I got this, guys. So yeah, still no cyber core, um, no nexus. We got a roach worm coming down, and looks like zealots are in production here. So as soon as roaches pop out, these zealots will kind of become obsolete. But until then, he's got a window here to do some damage, definitely. And it looks like uh, Demolisher puts down the layer. Generally, you want like a four minute layer, but um, yeah, he's not gonna have very many units out. Zealots slashing away here. Oh, we moved the man there. Did some extra damage. Zealots are gonna go down. I think he could have got a lot more damage done with that. If you uh, take your zealots and you stutter step back, you can uh, slash the zerglings one at a time and kill them a lot easier. Or you can just suicide in and try to kill drones. That's another option too. But a bunch of links popping out here. One roach taking it out. No problem. So what do we got here? A Stargate. Okay. Uh, that can do quite a bit of damage. Uh, we see no Spore Crawlers. We see one Queen, and it's already slightly weakened, so if an Oracle pops out and it targets that Queen right away, it can kill it and then do severe damage to the drone line. And looks like... Oh, okay. Guess he's being diligent. Oh. Nope, he scouted that with this Overlord. Nice. That's a really good pickup. And he's definitely going to get the pylon in time. Hydralis Den's going down. Spore Crawler. Not even going to need it. Very good pick up there. Nice. So, Stalker just chilling next to the Overlord. They're cool with each other. No big deal. They're friends. <laughs> so we got one Hydralis popping out here. Um, Nexus is only just going down now. It's hard to read exactly what's going to happen here, but I would say that Demolisher's ahead by a, a, a decent amount. Um, definitely needs to get the natural drone up here and get down a third base, though. And seeing this army here, we got Zealots and Adepts, so I would suggest. Okay, I would suggest going for more Roaches, personally. Because this army is really good against light, 
it's especially good against Zerglings, so, I mean, any Zerglings that are produced, even Hydralisks for that matter, he's only got one right now, but any Hydralisks for that matter can get killed pretty easily by Adepts, so. Uh, we do, I think, I think we have a full roster for the Clan War. Um, might be one slot open, actually. I think we, because we had two two no shows, but we had extra people that were in reserves, so I swapped them out into position. But anyway, Link's poking up here. Pretty good corrosive bile there. Wipes out the shielding. So it looks like Warpgate's gonna finish up here. We got more adepts in production. Yeah, definitely need to see more roaches. He's making them. But yeah, th this needs to be fully saturated. Um, yeah, he, he's gonna—he's already falling behind in income. We can check here. You don't want ever want to be even with the Protoss opponent. Um, in general, you want to be ahead economically because your units are less efficient in engagements. But he's droning up a bit. Let's hope he can get this saturated and get down a third base. And if he wanted, he could actually make quite a, quite a bit of Ravagers, because he's got a lot of gas and like low mineral count, so it's a perfect ratio for making a bunch of Ravagers. We got Gleal Reconstitution on the way. But I think right now, let's check the army value, yeah, I think right now um, Blue Waffle's army wins this. If they were just to fight right now, I think, I think Blue Waffle would win the engagement. That's a lot of sentries. Yeah, we need to see... Uh, like Hydras are pretty good. But yeah, we need to see a lot more Roaches. Needs to be able to tank the uh, Zealots and deal damage to the Adepts. I thought it was Wings of Liberty. Why would you think it was Wings of Liberty? That was like, what? Five years ago. We played that game five years ago. <laughs> so we have a spire on the way. It's been building for a little while now. Mutalisk might be pretty good against this army, but I don't think he can really support Mutalisk economically. I mean, Mutalisk are definitely a two-base strategy if you've spent almost nothing on, or like, no gas at all. But as we can see, we got plus one, plus one, Roach speed, he's made Hydras, he made a Ravager, and his economy has been kind of in shambles for a little while, so, I mean, Mutalisk aren't really going to be that great, unless he's able to just sit back and bank up some money. Um, Zergling's running in here on a suicide mission. This army is going to get wasted by Demolisher if he fights into that. Way more Roach is needed. He's going to Mutalisk, and I think this is a waste of money. Um, he just needs a bunch of Roaches. Even a bunch of Ravagers would be a good idea. If he can get Corrosive Vials down. But it's looking like Blue Waffle's pushing out here to uh, try to finish the game, so... We'll see what Demolisher can do to try to stay alive. There's plenty of anti-air to deal with the Mutalisk that were produced, and it looks like he's going Double Phoenix, so Mutalisk are actually completely worthless. But, a couple Vials go down. Gets three units there, that was pretty good. Giant move command. He's losing everything. That move command was really bad for him. I think he would have had that engagement, but he move commanded. Anyway, Mutalisks, yeah, don't build any more of those. Oh, GG is called. I guess he decided that engagement was uh, too great. They're too bad for him. And that's the first victory here for Demolisher and Pass Gaming. So we are currently 1-0.